Future Security 2019, a look at very real problems requiring artificial intelligence. 65 representatives from around the world begin a week-long journey in Israel looking at how artificial intelligence can help Homeland Security. The use of artificial intelligence and big data analysis are the current hype. Uh, this is the current buzz. All over the world, uh, people are curious about this uh, technology. You know, there is always, with modernization, new threats keep coming. There is human mistakes that uh, that happening. You know, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. And that's the beauty about this technology. It's really a game changer. We took a visit to one of the demonstrations at a Tel Aviv-based company, Cortica. This is a facial recognition software and technology one of the various technologies that are on display throughout the week as people from around the world, leaders, contributors, and experts in the field of security, but more specifically, in artificial intelligence. That's what's being put on display here at Cortica and elsewhere throughout the country as all of these officials, some from even foreign governments, are here to learn how to better their security protocols in their respective countries. Cortica's Ofer Onen explains how their facial recognition software may be reaching new heights. The biggest challenge, people that try to hide themselves, try to disguise themselves, wear fake mustache, fake beard, sunglasses, baseball caps, we are able to recognize all of them. In any condition, in day, night, fog, we recognize them all. These technologies are supported by complicated algorithms, but AI and big data analysis satisfy a variety of basic security needs. And for the delegates, they may see a solution to an existing problem. The basic problems remain the same the world over in uh, Homeland Security. Uh, what is really interesting here is that uh, there has been a practical use of artificial intelligence to solve problems at the grassroots level. Some of the technologies presented have been incorporated into Israel's security structure, and delegates from some countries that can't even be named seemed interested in acquiring them too. 